Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will cover the basics of creating a project on SiteChecker. First, we need to make sure we have enough room on our account to add a new project. Here you can see the amount of used up domains, URLs, keywords and other limits. Since my account is pretty empty right now, I'm good to go right away. Click on create a project in the top right corner. Or if it's your first time logging in, the form you see right now will be opened right away. Write the domain in the relevant field here. After the app will validate this domain, you will be able to see the continue button light up. Next up, we have all about crawl limits. Here you can specify the amount of URLs you want to dedicate to this project, as well as other additional parameters. Our bot follows robots file by default but you can disable this option by clicking on Respect Robots checkmark. We also have an option to create a custom robot specific only to SiteChecker. It copies your existing rules as a start, and you can add new rules to it without editing your actual file. You can configure our bot to ignore links with parameters, no follow or no index links, and subdomains. I will leave them turned on for now. Here, you can configure your site monitoring. Site monitoring automatically rechecks your project and compares the differences in code and content. This is pretty handy if you have a big website to manage or you're working in a big team. You can set a frequency of site monitoring right here. I will set it to daily monitoring. We provide integrations with Google Analytics and Google Search Console to get quick and easy access to important data straight from the dashboard. Let me show you how you can connect Google Analytics and Google Search Console to your project. And the last but not least is configuring the rank tracker. This tool is an absolute must to track your ranking performance. You can select location, language, and even the device of your potential users. Let's set it up right now. On the last tab, add a bunch of keywords under which your website can be found. Make sure to keep them as relevant as possible, since Rank Tracker covers only the first 100 positions. Since our website in question is all about keyword suggestion, I will add a few here. You can also group keywords to keep them organized. Let me show you how it's done. Since some of the keywords I added are related to YouTube, let's create a group dedicated to it. Let's find relevant keywords and click on Group button right here. You need to name a group and specify the URL these keywords are usually used for. And just like that, we made a new group of keywords. You can also import keywords straight from Excel. We recommend to check a sample, which is located right here, to help you out. Now we can click on Finish, and our project will be complete. See you again in other tutorials.